guys i wanted to start this vlog off by sharing with you this new healthy snack that i've been eating lately i've really been trying to eat better lately and when i discovered this snack i was hooked it's so good and refreshing and it will hold you over until you actually get a full meal if need be uh, I only use a few ingredients as you will see here. It's super simple and quick and easy to make. So I'll start out by using this hothouse cucumber, which are my favorite cucumbers. <laughs> um, and as you can see here, I'm only using half of the cucumber and I just cut it up into slices and then I lay it out on a plate and then this next step is optional I'll go in and add a little salt and I particularly like to use sea salt then I'm going to shake on some of these red pepper flakes and I would suggest you use them at your own discretion because if you put too much it's gonna be super spicy <laughs> unless you like spicy go for it Next, I'm going to use some of this ranch dressing. It's a spicy ranch dressing. I like to use this one or the chipotle ranch dressing, but you can actually use whatever dressing you choose. This is just what I like to use. And then I will use this Mediterranean flavored um, feta cheese just to top it all off. And voila, here is your lovely healthy snack. Dig in. Hey dolls and divas, I'm back. Have you guys missed me? <laughs> um, I know it's been a while. I have a whole life update. <laughs> Basically, I have been, well, I'm recovered from COVID, but try to take your girl out the game and God was like uh, no no ma'am no sir not my child so yeah when I thought I was on my deathbed he pulled a girl out he rose me up out of that so anywho so I've just kind of been chilling around the house well I, I've went and ran a few errands I am negative now thank God <laughs> um so but I do have like some residual like stuff going on um from that but um so i plan to have a vlog out obviously way before this but i know y'all don't want to see me that <laughs> so <clears throat> here it is today is tuesday it's about 6 p.m um, I've been up early this morning just kind of moving around and shaking. And every time I say I'm going to pick up this camera, I'm going to pick up this camera, like I didn't do it. So <clears throat> I've been just cleaning up my room, just doing laundry. It took my freaking comforter like three hours to dry. What? So anywho, <clears throat> so I've been doing that. So yes, y'all get Bonnet Girl and... um pajama girl today <laughs> so um but yeah like I was saying so um with COVID I just um have like that was another reason why I wasn't really vlogging because even once I got over the sickness I still have a pretty bad cough um it's getting better like daily like last night I took some mus what is it mucinex yeah mucinex like the pills and that really helped but it woke me up in the middle of the night with a super dry throat my nose was super super dry inside so it was kind of crazy but it it kind of helped <clears throat> with my cough so um I, I haven't been coughing nearly as much and I hope I don't have to in this video <laughs> so that's kind of the reason why I wasn't um vlogging but I do have some um boxings coming for y'all um, I wanted to start the vlog yesterday, but it just didn't happen. Like, I was all over the place. My day started out crazy. I was I went and got my nails done, so she did a real good job on my nails. Y'all know I go to Mimi at Polished in Paradise. If y'all saw from the last vlog, but she gave me this 
Um, I like the little dope little <clears throat> design that's on there. It's cute. So, yeah. So, um, and you know, just got a little browse wax pedicure and all the good stuff <clears throat> to pamper myself to, you know, just kind of get back to make myself kind of feel like back to normal. I am going on vacation next week, so I'll be vlogging that whole vacation. Um, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll probably just wait until I start doing the vlog to, for y'all to even find out um, where we are. Anywho, I ordered these chairs for the sitting area in my bedroom, and um, they were supposed to be delivered like Friday. No, excuse me, Saturday. So then it got pushed up to Sunday. And I was like, I didn't even know FedEx delivered stuff on Sundays. But apparently they do. So the guy pulls up to the house. And he was sitting out there for a while. So Jay knew I had an order that was supposed to, you know, be delivered. So he went and the guy just drove off. He never got anything. He drove off after sitting in front of our house for like five minutes. So he went out there and like flagged him down. was like, yo, like... <laughs> Wasn't you supposed to just deliver something? And he was like, yeah, but I can't. He was like, I see it, but it's not on my truck. Sir, what you talking about? What do you mean? Like, so I was just like, okay. I see clearly from the tracking number, it says it was scanned in on his, on, I mean, I don't, it, obviously it's not telling me the truck number or anything, but it's telling me early that morning, the box was the boxes were scanned in and put on a truck and then you know how tracking updates for later on it shows out for delivery right <laughs> so when he shows up talking about yeah i see it's supposed to be here but nothing's on my truck i'm like okay first thing came to my mind was oh they so they fell off your truck then right so <laughs> and like these were big boxes you know they were like 48 pounds a piece so it's not something that you can just easily hide. So I was like, oh, he playing games. So he left. So when he left, I called FedEx right away. And they basically were like, um, well, that's weird. She, the lady at FedEx straight out told me, she was like, either he's a real liar um, or it's on another truck. She was like, because he's been gone and he has not updated the system to show that those items are not on his truck. Like she was like, he literally didn't do anything like show delivered, showed attempted delivered, showed that. And I was like, he left like 20 minutes ago. By this time after I waited on hold everything, it already had been like 20 minutes. So she, and so she was like, yeah, he must be a complete liar or um, it's on someone else's truck and maybe they'll deliver it later on today. If not, call us back tomorrow. Now I see the tracking is updated to where they're trying to re-deliver it again today, right? I mean, yesterday, Monday. So, I'm at the nail shop. I get a text message from FedEx saying, your package was delivered. So I'm like, that's weird. Why didn't I get a notification saying somebody was at my door on my ring? Like, I'm like, so I'm like, okay, this is real weird. I was So now what happened yesterday and now what happened today, come on, y'all. Like, I think anybody in my same position is going to think, I was like, oh, they trying to play me. Like, they're definitely trying to play me. There's nothing at my door, like, at all whatsoever. You don't even, nobody walked up to the door, passed by the door, rang the door, nothing. So I, like, now I can't even, like, think straight. I mean, she in here doing my nails. I can't even think straight. And I was like, Mimi, I got to go. I'm going to come back. I actually called FedEx before I left the nail shop. So I guess that's probably what sent me into a panic too. Cause they're like on the recording, it says, it says your tracking number, but it also says, did you receive your package? Like, you know, what your phone number is attached to your tracking. So, and I'm like, no. So the, it has an automated system that says, oh, go check like some of your neighbors, check some neighbor's houses or surrounding areas around you. And if it's still not there, call us back tomorrow at eight. I was like, oh no, y'all finna find my shit right now. So now, like, that's how it was. I was hot. I, well, I was hotter than uh, fish grease. Hotter than a firecracker at a hot boy concert. I was burnt up mad hot. I left the nail shop. So as I'm pulling up to my house, I'll insert the picture to show you where this fool left these big boxes. Like, 
bro, you had like 10 more steps, 10 more feet. Like for real, you couldn't put them in my door. Like anybody could have just walked up and just walked off with them. And I was just like, this is ridiculous. So needless to say, I did get my chairs. I've already unboxed one of them. They're so beautiful. So we're going to look at them or we're going to put them together and see how I like them in my sitting area. This is the back portion and this is like the little sitting area and these are the little legs and feet. So, um, so I have two of these and I'm gonna start putting them together. One is going over here and sorry if the lighting is bad. So I'm at the rearrange some stuff in here. We'll see once it's done. Um, I'll see what I have to pull out. I might have to bring that refrigerator out and go put it in our game room. Um, but yeah, because I don't think that's going to look right right there. Um, but it's so convenient and so easy for me to just get up at night so I'm going to walk down the stairs to go grab stuff to eat or snacks or stuff. So convenient. But the game room is right outside of my room, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to have to go find a lamp, but I want to see what these chairs look like in here first before I go buy a lamp to put over here in this area. Because as you can see, it's so dark. There's no, there's no um, lighting over here. So... Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go find a lamp, but let's get these together first and then we may go on a mission to Target tonight. back I started putting the second chair together so let me show you this so y'all just know like a girl is not tripping okay um look at this leg Where's the little thing? so ugh, two of the screws won't go in this 
it just keeps twisting and turning. That's doing nothing. That won't even go in. So, yeah. Oh, fell right out. <laughs> okay, so that's one. <clears throat> and then this, here's another one right here. Just waste your time all day. Waste your time all day screwing. Yeah. So the top portion of this one is so three and a half inches on that one on the skinny leg. <laughs> And my leg, the thick leg, it's five inches exact. If these fools don't run me my... Ooh, okay. <laughs> ooh, come on. No freaking way. This is crazy right now. See how this one looks just nice and purdy. Why does one all wrinkled up like this? This is definitely a return. Nobody can convince me. This is a return or defective something. It even has like a little stain right there. Yeah, somebody definitely returned this. Hopefully they can send me another one exactly like it. Otherwise they can have them all back. Okay, guys, so um, they, the, I can't put that back on all the way because if I slide it down those little grooves, it's going to get stuck in there and I'm not going to be able to, I don't know how to take it out. So I'm just going to like prop it up kind of like stupid like this, just so I can move it around a little bit and get an idea of what it's going to look like um, with, right there with the mirrors right here. I bought those mirrors to go in place of those right there. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move that around. I'm not just so you know, like, why is it sitting like that? I don't want to push it down in the grooves and it gets stuck and I cannot get it out and get it in that box because I just tried to remove this one and it, it wasn't working. But look at these legs. Look how just with both the chairs, um, at least the legs on put together, how different and skinny and stupid they look like. Did y'all what kind of quality control is this? Like y'all didn't check nothing first? It's ridiculous. So look. Are you kidding me? One is clearly skinnier than the other. I can't believe they really shipped this. I want the chair on this each side. Can't stay where it was at. It's just straightforward. Look, so I'm putting a uh, thing right here. A lamp. It's too dark over here. Oh. <clears throat> so lamp. Are these mirrors going in? Huh? Um. I see how it looks with the mirrors, because the mirrors could throw off. Well, that's a good list, because it's another big item just in the area. You know, it's on the wall, so it might make a good red list. So are you going to hold it right there, or, or hold it on this side? Better this side. Well, this chair is not pushed all the way down, so it looks kind of stupid. Well, let's put chairs in because you need to see the mirror next to the refrigerator side so you can see how clumpy stuff looks together. Yeah, because I need to see if this works on this side, too, because of oh, that, that weight wall. Huh? Let's do one at a time.
like 7.45 now. Um, we measured the wall. Well, he measured the wall for me, so I know I can't go over 59 inches. And I'm going to just hope and pray I can find it. So, I put my auntie wig on. <laughs> and, I guess I still have on my pajamas, technically. Is my battery not charging? Well, I did just buy a new battery, too. But, okay, so it's about to die. So, unfortunately, y'all, I'm going to leave my camera here. If I vlog something, if I find something, I'll just record it on my phone um but yeah she's about to hang up so i will see y'all soon and when we come back we're gonna finish this out all right hey guys i am back so um quick update from last night oh my fan is annoying quick update from last night um i just want to kind of show you what i did with the area over here so the guys got the um mirrors hung over the chairs they look really cute i've reached out to the vendor about the chair that was like defective damaged whatnot whatever so they are trying to force a 30 percent discount on me so bad and i'm like sis as much as i would love a discount that's like one of your girl's favorite words i'm like it's just too much going on with the chair so unfortunately <laughs> i'm gonna need y'all to send me a whole nother one so they're not too happy about that but I don't care because that's not what I pay for. So let me give you a quick little peek at how it's set up so far. I, You know, I was going to Target last night. I, it was nothing in Target for me to record, honey, okay? And I went to TJ Maxx to see if that lamp was there. See, this is why I hate not buying stuff when I see it. Because whenever you go back, it's never there. So I end up finding... A very similar lamp. Actually, what I was looking for exactly to the T... But I paid like three times the freaking price. It's exactly what I want. And I got two day free. Okay. Free shipping. And there's going to be some, a few changes made. But um, once the lamp comes, it'll be, of course, cute. And I got this little, cute little plant over here also. So flip y'all around. Okay. So can you see why I need a lamp in here? It is extremely dark in this area. So it definitely needs a lamp. I really didn't want to get rid of my refrigerator, but I do know once that lamp comes, there's no way. Look at this little, the plant I got from TJ Maxx. So freaking cute for 60 bucks. So I'm definitely keeping, it's going somewhere in my house, even if it has to go in my office or I have to put it somewhere else. Because honestly, I just don't want to take the refrigerator out. I love being able to access that and put my little snacks and stuff up there. So I took this rug, this white rug. This actually goes in my, under my vanity chair, my vanity section. So I just put it right here just to kind of see what it would look like and what it was given. So I'm going to stroll back down to um, TJ Maxx and go get another one. So it's definitely, and I'm going to push it under the chair and under the table. I'm going to push it back more, but I just threw it right there just to get an idea of what it looked like. So mirrors are hung. Those look really cute. Something else I want to show y'all real quick, get y'all opinion on, because I bought these LV boots um, uh, over the weekend, and I don't know if I'm loving them. And for the price of these boots, there is no way I should be saying that at all. Like, they're way too expensive for me to be saying, oh, I don't know. Um, so, I'm going to show them to y'all. And I want y'all opinion on the boots. I think these are called, like, the Spike Trail boots or something. And when these boots first came out, I had to have them. I was on the mission. Like, had to have them. Um, and, but they were sold out. They were, like, I looked like they were sold out as soon as they put them on the website. Like, the day they dropped them, they were sold out. So, I finally saw them last week. I was like, oh, my God, I meant one of those. And, um... I was, they looked good in the store. Jay wasn't a huge fan of them, which you know, I'm, I'm going to wear what I want to wear because he be having stuff that I don't like. And so, but I believe in people should wear what they want to wear. But I'm on a fence about these. And it's like a couple of things. They're, the bottom is, um, whoop. okay. And so it's a couple of things. The bottom, like the, um, where my foot rests, it's hard as freaking cement. So I've been walking around with them on now for probably about 10 minutes just to kind of get a feel. Like I feel like my feet are going numb at the bottom. And I actually went up, I caught myself going up a half a size in the store so I can put like little inserts, you know, like the little cushion inserts to make your feet more comfortable. I couldn't even, the boot is really tight and I couldn't really get them on. 
it's a heavy, it's a very well-made boot. I mean, like it's structure wise, it's very structured. Um, it's a heavy boot, but the comfort is not there. And it's a lot of work to get these things on and off. And I'm thinking to myself, how often are you going to be willing to do that for this price point? So, um, I don't know, but let me show them to y'all because they, they do look fire. And the color is so fire. So I'm about to take them off, but yeah, this is how they looking. Okay, y'all, so let me show you the boot. Here it is up close. You see how cute this freaking boot is? Look how fire it is. Like, the tongue. I'm so into stuff like this anyway. Um, I just I feel like this brings back my tomboyish years like when I was younger I wore like Tommy Hilfiger boots and Tim's and Jade you know so I feel like this so taps into my um tom girl days the bottom of my feet literally hurt there's no way I'll be able to wear these all day so you know what right there that's a no-go for me because I don't even think if I put the little cushion inserts in there I don't even think that will work they, I mean, I just don't understand why the, they didn't make the bottom with some type of cushion. That's the only thing. Otherwise, otherwise, it would be like, otherwise, then my only other concern would be like, do you want to spend that much time taking those boots on and off? And you know what? Something is not convenient. You're not going to wear it too often. Um, and these boots are like statement piece. And I'm not saying put them on every day, but for, for the price point for $2,000 boots, I want to be able to wear those more than two times a year. And I can see myself probably only doing that. Only putting them on like twice a year. And I just feel like that's a complete waste of money. And then knowing me, I'm probably going to want to sell them after having them for like two years, you know. So I didn't get my money. I wouldn't feel like I got my money's worth. So, no. Nah. As much as I love these boots when I first saw them and I was so psyched. and But so sick feeling when they just went out of stock. I was just like, no. That's crazy. That's kind of like upsetting because I really wanted to love these, but dang. I'm going to go and figure out what I'm about to eat before I get a headache. I got this tied on my head and I um, I feel like I'm about to get a headache. So before that happens, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. But I will be back soon. See y'all later. Hey y'all. Good morning. I'm back. So, let me just say, <clears throat> let me just kind of apologize in advance because I know the last couple of days I've been given like little pieces of a vlog, but part of that is because um, <clears throat> I told y'all when I do like too much talking, like I go into like these coughing tangents, um, so that's part of it, and then just... Another thing is just like, since I had COVID, like my energy levels just um, don't be there. I get like fatigued really easily. So, <clears throat> excuse me, so, you know, all that walking around and stuff and back and forth, like I said, too much talking, it just be, it's crazy. So um, these are like some of the residual effects. Um, I'm hoping and praying daily that they just go away. <laughs> um, but I do take Mucinex at night. So last night after I ran those couple of errands, I didn't get a chance to go to TJ Maxx and get the, um, rug that I wanted. I think I'm gonna go today. I don't know. It's raining. I, I hate driving in rain and it was raining yesterday too. So yeah. You know what? Because I have a video to record and edit today and post. So, and it's like around 11 AM. That's right now. 
that's probably not going to happen. Um, so, and I do have this swim cover up. I need to return to Target that did not fit. But anyway, so that might be on the agenda for tomorrow. Um, quick update on the chair. The company, they already sent me out a replacement chair, which is cool. When I went on the mission to Target to find that lamp, but I found exactly what I was looking for on Wayfair. And um, <clears throat> it was supposed to be like two day shipping. Well, look what has arrived. We'll be putting that together today as a team. <laughs> um, so yeah, but my little area is looking really cute over here. I'm like so happy about it. Um, I know that little plant is probably going to come out, but I, know I, I think I already talked about that yesterday anyway. I just made myself some breakfast. I'm about to eat that. So this is it. Egg whites. And then this Chobani, um, Chobani yogurt. Greek yogurt strawberry Greek yogurt and I just put like these little apple crisp crumblers um on top it is so freaking good since it's been raining I, I hope I don't know if I can go walking today I'm going to hope so if not I'm just going to try and get some type of um cardio going on in my house like I have like PTSD from going to the gym because um that was kind of like the last place I went, even though I really feel like I caught COVID from my son because he was sick by the end of the first week of school, that weekend, by Saturday, he was sick. So, um, but I was at the gym and that was the last place. So I kind of have PTSD from that. So I am not going back there. <laughs> Just going to order me a Peloton and that's going to be it. Anywho, I will be back shortly, guys. Hey guys, so I'm back. And so now it's about a little after <clears throat> four. And um, I have recorded um, a video and for you guys and I've edited it. So I'm just waiting for it to upload right now. That'll be up tonight. Um, but I'm gonna show you so now we're gonna just go ahead and put this um, good old new lamp together. So I was gonna do it myself earlier, but since I have um, all of these hot dogs and beans in my house, I think they should be able to help me out. I have to do it myself. So yeah, so I showed you guys the lamp earlier. Sweet, you gonna help? And um. Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get that opened up. And get that put together. kind of want to show you guys what it looks like I um set the the tray up on top of the fridge with some snacks um some healthy snacks and then I got the lamp set up the lamp looks so freaking cute and I was able to leave my plant over there like it doesn't even look super crowded like I was scared it was gonna look so I love it 
I think it's so freaking cute. The lamp is exactly what I wanted. It just looks so perfect over there. I might change the light bulb though on the lamp. So just to brighten it up a bit. Um, but let me show you, it looks so cute. The great reveal. Isn't it darling? It looks so cute. The rug, the mirrors. It looks so freaking cute. <clears throat> There's the lamp, the plant, and then I have all my little healthy snacks up here. Um, water, Crystallite healthy snacks. You guys, if you guys have not tried these, they are freaking bomb. Like, I love them. These are my favorite. The caramel and the apple cinnamon. Those are my favorites. The cheddar and the buttermilk ranch. Those are more, they have more like a um, salty type flavor. But of course, I love the sweet stuff, and I can't really fool with real sweets. Otherwise, I'll gain a ton of weight. So these are super healthy. Look, nine grams. Like they're super healthy, and they taste really good. And I definitely get my sweet tooth fix with those. So, yeah, guys, this is so freaking cute. I just love this little area over here. I'm, like, so happy about it. I'm so proud of it. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to really enjoy it. It just looks so cute when I come in my room. Hey, y'all. Good morning, afternoon. <laughs> it's really the afternoon. It's, like, 2.20. Um, so, my day has been, I don't, I'm not going to say it was, it's been bad, but it's been like a little interesting. First, my um, two oldest sons played me. How y'all both missed the school bus? Now I got to drive you to school. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, started with that. <clears throat> then I ran to Target to take back this little cover up that. I thought was just gonna be oh so cute with one of these swimsuits I'm about to show you and the thing wouldn't even go for my butt so she went back um and it's my baby's birthday tomorrow well yeah what's today <laughs> well the party's tomorrow for oh yeah it's his <laughs> see all over the place it's his actual birthday tomorrow so his party is tomorrow so, and I feel kind of bad because I sent out his birthday invitations, like, to his class, like, this week. Um, so, some people already have prior engagements. Like, literally, I think the kids just got the invitations yesterday, so I feel so bad. Um, like, the days just be getting behind. I think what it is, he's, like, he is still new to school. He's only in, like, first grade. Um, and the other boys are summer babies. They don't, I don't have to send invitations in. So like they text their friends and stuff, you know, so I have to get used to this, but I don't know. I just kind of feel bad. But as long as his best friend is there, he really ain't even going to care. And his best friend is already coming. So that's why he going to read to me and, and his gift. He be wearing my, what he going to get. So anywho, so. I'm going to just say this because I'm about to be done with Publix. Like, I, I completely order my cakes from there and nobody in our house eats buttercream. Like, who eats buttercream? Like, ugh. So, um, and I guess California just spoiled me. Like, growing up in California the majority of my life, if y'all know about Safeway and y'all know about them cakes, like, Safeway makes some of the best cakes on the freaking planet. Like, California and even some, like, private bakeries out there, they make the best freaking cakes with whipped cream, like whipped cream frosting, not freaking buttercream. That stuff is disgusting. And like, they just can't do it right in the South. Like whipped cream cake with fresh strawberries and whipped cream filling. How hard is that? They cannot get it right here down South. I don't know why. Like even when I lived in Texas, they couldn't get it right. Before I completely 
acted an A1 fool in Publix. I went there to go order his cake. Now, all of a sudden, they just, I, I guess they just don't like doing the whipped cream cake. So, you want to force down everybody's throat this disgusting buttercream. So, I picked out his cake. She was like, oh, we can't do that. It, or the whole cake has to be um, buttercream. I was like, no, it doesn't. I was like, I ordered these cakes here all the time. I never order buttercream. We don't eat buttercream. Like, what do I have to come in here and lie to y'all and be like, oh, I'm allergic to it for you to make it? Like, don't make sense. So, um, I was like, so she was like, oh, well the specialty cakes, which is what the specialty cakes are like, like a cake already would have designed like a Disney theme or some type of, you know, theme, right? She's like, they have to be buttercream. We have to go by the instructions that the, um, <clears throat> manufacturer, whatever she says by their directions. And I'm like this, I only order cakes from here all the time. Like, so, and I, I never order a freaking buttercream. And so... So she was like, so, so I flipped the pages, right? Cause one of my other sons, I knew off the top of the head, it was like a huge SpongeBob cake and they tried to play the same thing. Like, oh, well, well, we might not be able to do it because if we, we have to spray paint it, the color might not come out right. The cake looked exactly like the picture in the book if they didn't even do a better job. And so, and that, and so I flipped to that page, right? SpongeBob. I said, oh, so does, I said, so does that same rule apply to this cake right here? She was like, yeah. I said, that's weird. Cause I just had that cake done just a few months ago. And the whole thing was completely, um, whipped cream. So she was standing there like, uh, oh, oh. So now she's stuttering. Oh, oh. She was like, well, um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. I was like, can you do it or not? Like, and I said, you know what? Never mind. Just because clearly y'all don't get it. I, I said, I'll go somewhere else. So I went and ordered my baby a, cu a cookie cake because he saw a cookie cake in the mall last week. And he was like, I want that for my birthday. And it was a, um, it was a, a beach theme. And I was like, he just be liking to spend people money. That's what it is. But I was like, why you want a beach theme? I said, you know what? Never mind. It's not my birthday. It's not my cake. If you want a beach theme on your cake, that's your business. Cool. So, and Publix didn't even have a cake he wanted anyway. So, you know what? He wanted a Spider-Man cake, and I was going to have to get him Avengers cake. They claimed that the, the, um, <clears throat> Spider-Man was discontinued. Who discontinued Spider-Man? See what I'm saying? But Publix, I'm getting sick of y'all, for real. I plan to come in here right away and start showing y'all my, um, unboxing, the stuff that I said I was going to unbox yesterday, um, from, uh, Fashion Nova and Amazon, and, um, Got sidetracked, you know. I wouldn't be Taylor if I didn't get sidetracked. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I have. Um, and guess what? I'm not, I don't plan to try this stuff on right now. I'm just going to show it to y'all, okay? I don't plan to try it on right now. I'm sorry. I just don't have the energy to try nothing on right now. Okay? Maybe later. Or wait just to see the pictures or video from, you know, the trip. But I'm, I am going to have to try it on some point in time because um, we're literally leaving like on Wednesday and today's Friday. So um, if something doesn't fit and I need to return it real quick, um, I'm going to have to do it. What reorder it is going to be the thing um, overnight or you yeah, like express shipping. I don't look y'all tea, quick tea. I don't order nothing from Fashion Nova uh, unless it's express shipping. Cause they play games. That's my little rant for the day. But um, <clears throat> let me go ahead and open this packages up. So we're starting with the Amazon box first. Ordered a cute little hat for one of my outfits too. And usually hats are kind of fun. Oh, I think the hat's in here. Hey, like two swimsuits, a little cover up, and this hat. I think that's all I ordered. Oh, okay, everything came in the same box. Nice. Let's start with the hat first, guys. Because I have such this dope outfit in mind. I'm going to show y'all. I think I want to do a pack pack with me. Um, so here's a little hat. A pack with me video. And then kind of like just like line my outfits up. And then show you guys the outfit. You know, hats are really funny with me because, like, I'm starting to think I have a big head, but my head measures only at, like, 22 inches. Oops. Oh, it's a little smash. How? Okay. 
But with hats, I don't know. They're so weird on me. Okay. Okay, so you just got to pop it back in place a little. But look how cute it is. Isn't she lovely? Okay, so. I don't know. That look kind of small. <laughs> this is just going to sit on top of my head, I guess. Girl, why look like. A Pixar character or something. <laughs> what? That is not going on my head. Oh, maybe. Okay. I don't know. It's, dang it, I'm wearing a curly wig too, but it's going to be longer. Oh, this is. Dang. Please don't say I'm going to have to go back. I don't, I don't know about this. I'm about to try it on with the other wig because. It's before I make a final decision this ain't so far this is a no it's just sitting just sitting like somebody did like this <laughs> bloop like no okay this look like a throwback pimp mm -mm. pimpstress no nah, that ain't gonna work no -uh. I heard like Jimmy the Cricket mm -mm. it's not giving Okay, next. <laughs> okay, so this is the first swimsuit. I thought this was just so freaking cute for where we're going. This is like so perfect looking. It's a one piece too. So I'm going to bring a couple of like two pieces and I'm going to bring a couple um, one pieces. I just thought the colors of it was so freaking cute for where we're going. Like, it's ugly out here. Like, the last few days has been super ugly. So, I'm so ready to go on this vacation. Okay. Look at that peanut tails. Cute. The little ruffles on the front. <clears throat> and then the back. And it, like, ties on the back I think it's gonna help us hold this hold all these boobs together oh this is cute I'm about to try this on <clears throat> Ooh, these colors are so freaking beautiful my goodness and I just felt like it would look so good on my skin so, oh wow yeah that is so pretty so it's like baby blue and like pinky color we already know I gotta throw some pink in somewhere and like Green. I just love these colors. It looks so pretty. It's definitely giving the... Um, it's the same exact style um, swimsuit that I just showed you first, but just in a different colorway. So cute. That is so cute. It's almost like you could probably wear this like a... Um, <clears throat> like a... Uh, let's see if you can see. Like a little bodysuit up under something. So cute. Okay. Z Bach. Cover up. I hope it fits. Because what size did I order? Oh, well, I ordered a large, so just really depends. And I ordered a large in the swimsuits too. And I'll link them just in case y'all want to check them out. And this cute little um cover up so a white cover up this this one i got to go for the um the green and white one the very first one i showed you but look it's giving me kind of like little tennis skirt vibes a little bit and then it scrunches up on this side so if you want it to kind of like come up a little bit giving a little more sexy fashion nova bag so i ordered like two pairs of shoes Oh, these are cute. They kind of look like my Bottegas a little bit. So, I'm going to call them Bottega dupes. But they're like... I wouldn't even say these are like bright white. Oh, they say they're white. They give, they're giving like a little... A little hint of... um. 
like cream to me. So I'll try these on um, in the mirror so you guys can see how they look. And I got them in a um, size nine. And they are called You've Been Waiting Heels. You've Been Waiting. Yeah, You've Been Waiting Heels. Okay, so it just doesn't want to cooperate. <laughs> okay. These are called the Stiletto Dreams Heels. And I got these in at eight and a half. And I guess the color is um nude i thought it said liddy nude but it's liddy is the style apparently okay and i think these were um final sale in this particular pair so i'm really hoping they fit because really in fashion nova shoes um i kind of always just like order a nine just to be on the safe side oh these are cute though but you know what i'm super concerned that this might not fit my face oh my gosh these are so freaking cute the, these i feel like are also like bottega dupes look at that the bottom look just like a bottega and then the weaved stitching oh my gosh i hope these fit i'm about to try this one right now <laughs> and it's like a cute little nude color they didn't have a nine so i had to get the eight and a half. Oh, it doesn't really have too much stretch even though i don't have a super wide foot but still like fashion over shoe Oh, sus. What? Oh, yeah, these cute. They fit. Let me just show them to y'all real quick. Ooh. Yes. It fits. It's kind of like a big eight and a half, actually. Look at that room in the back. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me show you the other one then. You can't wait. I don't know which ones I'm more. I think I'm more excited about the new ones. I'm like, just keep it all the way a buck. I think I'm more excited about those. Oh, these things slippery as heck. This br oh. Oh. oh, if I don't get some slip guards. They both cute. That's the nine. They both got a little room in the back, but I'm okay with that because I'd rather be a little bit bigger than smaller. But look at these things. You go sliding across the room. They cute as heck. Yes. Oh, yes. They're giving what they're supposed to give. So let's just hope and pray the outfits are giving what they're supposed to give. All right, Fashion Nova. I feel like I gotta, I gotta ban them for a few months for them to act right. You know, me and Fashion Nova have a love-hate relationship because, boy, they be having me ready. I ain't even going to manifest that, but um, they be having me ready to act a complete fool. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. So this outfit is called the Alexia Maxi Dress in brown combo, and I got it in a size medium. So... Oh, little belt just hit the ground. Okay. So. Oh my gosh. I probably should have got this in a small. Look at this. This is the waist. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, and it's it drags on the ground so oh my gosh. I'm going to try it on and I'll be back so y'all can get the full look. Okay, y'all. So I have the outfit on and actually it does not look that bad. Um, I was a little nervous, but let me show y'all. Look, got the cute little, it has slits on both sides. So you can put your leg in here. This is cute. It's floor length all the way to the ground. The colors are freaking beautiful. I love, love earth tones on my skin tone let me get up a little closer the only thing my only complaint is about because my boobs are so big and heavy um i think they made this a little looser for girls with bigger chest areas to accommodate but it just looks a little too baggy right there like can you see it looks a little too baggy so i'm thinking i want to go get it like taken in show you the back 
So the back excuse, excuse I didn't I didn't want to take off my sports bra, so um, I, I was doing a lot right now, <laughs> but it's cute. At my cleaners, and she does alterations, and I'm gonna see if she can fix this for me. So basically, this is I'm gonna give you an idea of what I want it to do. So just come in a little tighter right here. See, that looks so much better than this loose. Like it's not really giving shape. It's giving way too big boobs and like, and I also need boob tape. <laughs> I need these things to stand up. See, that's better. See, I'm standing up with this bra. Stand up like that. And then I need her to take this in a little bit. And I'm actually, I'm gonna go drop this off today. So that way it'll be ready. I'm just gonna try on the other stuff too. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the next outfit. This is called the... Anchors up striped romper. And let me just say rompers are so hard for me to find that fit me well and look cute. But um, this one is definitely cute. I love the color. Yeah, so like I said, this one is so freaking cute on me. I love the color on my skin tone. It's a little bit short, um, but it looks cute on me. <clears throat> fabric is super super stretchy oh it's pockets oh too cute i wonder how much this is gonna ride up though whoa as i walk let's see okay well too bad i'm gonna bring a backup outfit <laughs> just in case it gets to writing up too much but um i think it's cute oh my gosh guys this one is giving oh my gosh i'm so happy this the first outfit in this outfit right here is what i was like most concerned about and they especially this one is hidden let me just show it to you Four minutes left on my memory card. Oh my gosh. Giving. Giving. What? It's like super cute because it's kind of like mini. Oh my goodness. Fits the girls. It's a little short in the back. I'm going to keep it all the way a buck. It's a little short. Let's see. But it's so freaking cute. And I already feel like I have like the cutest legs on the planet. So they're out this is giving me like ice skating like i'm a professional ice skater this is too cute i love it oh my gosh yeah this is so cute yo this is this is another one that hit normally when i order from fashion nova i don't get too many hits this is another one that hit, and I, I this was this was gonna be um, this is going to I picked this to be a dinner outfit. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Let me show y'all. Maybe you can see it better like that. But look, yep. What? Excuse me. What? Giving body, and honey, I'm gonna have on me a spanks up under this too, just to even give more body. Body. It is giving what it should be giving and then some yes what not see-through super comfortable fabric color is beautiful on my skin i love the color this dress hat i don't know why i didn't have too many good reviews people were complaining about the color i love the color they said it wasn't as vibrant or something as on the picture um but look how it just naturally just whoop, like so I like the idea of the shoulder pads because it gives it more of a grown and sexy look. But one minute left, dang. But um, this is giving. I, I'm loving this, loving it. Yes. Okay, y'all. I put on one of the swimsuits. I just wanted to give it a try. And let me just say I am so loving it. Got the girls looking nice. Um, it is like a, 
belly shaper too kind of gives you that belly um shape pressure whatever i got the little skirt thing on with it i don't know if i'm like loving it though um because it keeps rolling up let me show you it keeps rolling up at the elastic area like look at i don't know if you can see it you see how it's like bunching up right there and right here it's like the elastic is flipped one way and the other so it just kind of sits weird and i have to keep pulling it out you know how i said it had the built-in underwear where you can see it they i think they definitely could have did without that now that i have it on um but i think it's definitely giving like cute sexy classy at the same time i don't honestly i don't feel like it, the little skirting is doing much for my shape at all. Um, but I like the fact that I'll be able to be like covered up. Um, if I want to walk around the beach or just walk around the the hotel with this on, you know, um, without. Uh, and the, the bikini, the swimsuit, my pretty much covers a, like a good amount of my butt. So it's not like my butt cheeks will be hanging out or anything, but. I feel like this just feels so much better, but I'm really just loving how this has my boobs sitting. Like, I know a lot of the reviews were like, be careful because you can have like some a fallout or something, but I feel like it's pushing so tight. They're like really just holding them in place, you know? Um, I feel like this was a super cute swimsuit. And I think this was like... Um, 20 bucks, like $19.99. Like I said, I'll link the stuff below. Zara outfit just arrived. It's green also. And it's just a little um tank top with the matching shorts. So I thought this was, I love this color. I have such a good outfit in line um, for this too. So see the little biker shorts and they're ribbed. So it's cute. And you know what? Typically, I'm not a ribbed girl. I don't really like ribbed stuff. Um, but I think the color on this was just popping so much. I was like, I'm going to try that. Ooh. Well, you think? Oh, Lord. Would I get a medium large? Ooh, I'm going to have to make sure this fit. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's a, it's a really tight kind of material. So actually... If I wear this, wood, I might be good. So it might hold my girls up. This is really cute. And I have such a good idea for the outfit in mind. But um, so this is called Live Your Life Ribbed Midi Dress. And the color olive. And I got it in a large. This is it's a pretty. It's nothing but just like a little regular, like little maxi dress, you know. The whole point was this was to be cute and comfortable at the same time. And it's long. It comes down to... Yeah, it's a midi dress, so it comes down to, like, my calf area. And it's cute. Look at the button detail. And then it opens right here in the front towards the bottom. So I thought that was super cute. So, yeah, that's that. So that's coming on the trip also. This is called the Filling It Midi Dress, and I got it in a size large, and the color is taupe. So... And so that's the length. And it's just plain, but it's plain, cute, sexy. You dress it up right, boom, you win it. This is the last item. And like I said, this was never going to go. I just saw the dress and was like, oh, that's super cute. Especially for fall coming up, fall and winter. And um, I love sweater dresses. Love them. Um, for some reason, they just always look really cute on me. So, and then this dress. So, very stretchy. What is this called? Keep it consistent sweater dress and a size large and the color is rust slash combo. So yeah. And it's a tapered dress, so bring it's gonna make the curves pop. Looks like it could possibly be off the shoulder, but it's kinda long. So let me see, is it midi also? Uh once I put it on, it'll probably be like at at the knee or like right above the knee. But it's cute. I love the colors. Colors are so perfect. Put this on with some like little ankle boots. It'll be so freaking cute. Oh, now my battery's dying. <laughs> Anywho, I will 
holler at you guys soon. Ciao. Hey y'all. Good morning. So it's almost 11 a.m. And it is my baby. I call him my baby, even though he just turned seven today. He's still the baby. He's my baby. <laughs> so, anywho, it's his birthday today. So, I literally, like, just, well, no, I just got out of bed. I didn't just wake up, but I've been on my phone. But anyway, we're about to go sing happy birthday to him and give him our gifts and then get ready for his birthday party. Um,. At the place we're going to. So, and that starts at 1. So, <clears throat> and I'm trying to record another video to drop for y'all early next week before we go. So, yeah. I'm going to have to make this quick. <laughs> so, um, anywho, we're about to go down here and say happy birthday to him. And um, I just got to tell y'all about a funny ritual that actually happens in our house for everybody's birthday, right? So, for everybody's birthday, um, at midnight, everybody get gets... So basically, you, you get jumped by the whole household. So, and however, whatever number birthday this is for you you get punched that many times so I mean obviously not like hard you know what I mean so um so yesterday when um JC on got home from school aka 2d that's what I call him 2d so but um when he got home from school yesterday he came and said mommy so I'm gonna. Oh, I I I just remembered. I'm getting my punchies for my birthday tonight, huh? Oh, I'm so scared. I was like, <laughs> bro, what's wrong with you? So then he tells his dad later on that night, Daddy, if I fall asleep, make sure you wake me up at twelve o'clock so I can get my punchies. This kid, like what? Anyway, yes, yeah, so that's the ritual at our house. Everybody knows at midnight it goes down. Some folks be hiding, some be red, you know, but it's just it's just like a little fun ritual that we do in our house for everybody on their birthday. Um, Jay, I, uh, unfortunately, just missed out on his because, like, we everybody, I was in the bed with COVID. Everybody was pretty much quarantined our oldest son was in his room quarantine so it wasn't even really no fun like nobody can really was able to really even enjoy it so he was able to skate with his punches but um yeah so anywho I'm gonna go downstairs and um sing happy birthday to the birthday boy and I'm gonna start getting ready and try to record this video all before we have to be at this party at one o'clock. So, yeah. The birthday boy Make sure is coming. Did you guys give him his last night? Young, sit right here. <coughs> so, here's his birthday boy. Happy birthday, JC on. Wow. AKA 2D. So you don't need to look in the bags. This is his his starter cake. He'll get his real cake at the Rock and Jump. At the Rock Yeah. Where are we going? Rock and Jump. Oh yeah? That's the name of it? Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh look at his balloons that his brother bought him. It was so nice. Ooh. And the big number seven. Ooh. Is this a J? Upside of J? Or a seven? seven? It's a seven. <laughs> it's a seven. How old are you? Mom, I'm so tall. What, the balloon? Yeah. <clears throat> it's bigger than you. Hassan! What am I actually talking about? Yeah, when you pin on his feet, I'm taller than I'm taller than you. Oh, you are? 
Oh, okay. I didn't know the balloon had feet, but okay. I mean, it was a little bit early on a Saturday. I don't know. Typically, they not getting up this early. What's going on here? You don't light candles? Well, do you see me lighting it? One, <clears throat> two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tootie. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> Wait, you can't blow your candles out? I guess you can. Oh, okay. Good job. Yay! All right, open your gifts, sweetie. I'm going to go to the biggest and smallest. That's small. Oh, biggest. you mean smallest to biggest. Oh, Lord. That's small. No, it's all mine. I forgot he had a few that's, cavities. That's from Khalid. Ooh, Khalid. Ooh, Tootie, what do you say? No, thank you, Khalid. Jeez. But I also like this. That wasn't for me. That was from Pops. Oh, that lost. What is it? Can we see? It's a thousand V-Bucks card. Oh, Fortnite card? Wow. Good job. That's nice. Guess you're going to be up all night tonight. Yay. This young, you're supposed to say thank you to folks. Oh, thank you. you. <laughs> Yeah, Whoa! You got a Switch? Nintendo Switch? Switch. How do you play okay, that? Okay, who got me this? Me and Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Here, Two, it's still another. Oh, thank you, my tutor. Huh? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, So those are extra controllers. They're not breaking. It's Peely. That charges. It's what? It's Peely. That's that's a Fortnite. Peely. Oh, okay. Who Peely is? That's the banana. More V bucks in here. It comes with more V bucks. It comes with five hundred. What are these? The controllers. Okay, so these are the controllers. These are Fortnite. What is this? These are Fortnite. The charger thing. So you see how you can connect? Huh? You see how you can connect your Nintendo Switch to Peely. So look, you get these two. You get these two things in the item shop and a hundred and five hundred. This is the charger for controllers. Oh, okay. So, so Tootie, are you happy about your yes, gifts? Yes, yes, Oh, okay, yes. great. All right, well, time to hit the shower so we can get ready for the party. See you later. Let's hide JC on candy, guys. Hey, y'all. So, just a quick update. Last night, um, when we got back from Tootie's birthday party, I was out for a count out for the count done so at like 8 30. <laughs> so um anywho i didn't really record um at the party because i was just like interacting with the other moms and um you know i didn't want to like be recording them and stuff so i might insert a clip from when we were singing happy birthday to him but i didn't even really record anything while we were there besides that um, and then, so I'm glad I went to bed early last night cause I'm getting an early start today. It's about, um, 11, oh, almost noon. Um, so 10 to noon, I've been up already. I'm ready to go. A girl is dressed. Um, and my essay from Louis Text me last night and was like my shoes are ordered last week came in so i'm about to go run to lennox pick those up and do um a couple of last minute shopping I'm trying to find i have a couple of items that i want to that i'm looking for i think i might be able to find it at czar so we're gonna check out czar while we're over there and then um i don't know maybe a couple other stores so yeah oh and i got my re replacement chair today you know, the one from my little cute sitting room, the pink one. Yeah, why is that one worse than the first one I got? I'm just like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm so over. I sent her a long email and like, with a couple of options. Like, I'm not even, I don't know why this is so hard to like, find good stuff 
that is the same and matches like I and I was so specific with the replacement I was like can you actually check it yourself this time can you make sure the legs are this size still sent me the skinny legs now the back on this chair won't go in because where you slide the chair in is bent like the and the lines on the back of the chair and the bottom part of the cushion where you sit don't align they're completely off like there's no way you did a quality check on this there's no way so like before you shipped it so at this point i don't even feel bad that you got to pay to ship it back because if you would have just specifically did what i asked we wouldn't even be having this problem right now so like i'm a little irritated about that but that is not about to ruin this day henty okay so anywho um we some of y'all may not know or maybe not i mean no or may not know but you know they don't be letting you record in um like these designer stores so i'm not even gonna waste my time trying to record in there but um i'll show y'all what i got when i get back because i have some other louis stuff that i need to unbox anyway um so I'll, i guess i'll just do it all at once but anywho let me show y'all my little outfit so all nike down nike to the socks literally <laughs> so got this nike dry fit shirt on with these nike leggings i love these nike legs i got so addicted to them and i actually these are the ones that i bought while i was in turkey at the um nike store so they're super cute super fitting i just love how they feel and how they snatch a girl look at it look at that what like just snatch you so i'm super comfortable today that's the look Louis little backpack so going for the sporty look today but anywho so I'm about to get up out of here we got a COVID test oh yeah it's another thing we got a COVID test so we can hurry and get over there and get back home because we have a COVID test like close to four o'clock before we leave see y'all soon so I've been back home for about an hour the majority of this day has been a complete waste of time. <laughs> so, drove all the way to Lenox to go pick up my shoes to discover that they're a little bit too exact. So, um, I ordered these runaway sneakers. However, I just, of course, went in there to order the same size because I have to i have them in um the other S sorry y'all <laughs> i have them um in a size seven in other colorways but the only thing i can think of is that because these are like fully canvas and suede and not any leather they're a little bit tight so i had to have her reorder them and a half size up so i gotta get a seven and a half in these and of course it's gonna probably take like another week like these took so thank god i did not need them for this trip because i would have probably had a full-on fit in tantrum and louis and been throwing myself on the ground and rolling around and stuff i'm just kidding i don't even make scenes in public <laughs> I gotta be fired up to make a seat in public so i am big lion but um anyway so yeah so we drove oh and then i went to zara because i wanted to try and find like a little blazer um in zara and that's the closest zara is like all the way out in lennox and um yeah i'd never found a blazer tried on some pants that completely didn't work so yeah just going all the way out there was just two and a half hours just there and back wasted you know just bloop. uh it's almost eight o'clock so i really want to show you all this stuff before um before i end this vlog i'll come back and unbox this sh stuff and show it to y'all but right now i just gotta like chill for a little bit like take my wig off put it on this pillow over here and like watch the tv and just chill so yeah <laughs> that's what i'm about to do for a while so i'll be back hey y'all i'm back so it's now a little after 10 30. clearly i got a little sidetracked as i promised i'm going to go ahead and open up these two items that i have um from louis and just unbox those um and then whenever the shoes come in 
I'll show you all that then. Show you these two here. So we're gonna unbox those, some shoes, and I got another bag, so. All right, so this first box is gonna be some sandals. <clears throat> I've been wanting these, but um, they were kind of sold out in what I thought was my size. I'm, and then of course when I got to the store, um, I was still off. So I'm, I'm just never ordering. I mean, like look what happened today. I ordered what I thought was my size. <laughs> like I've been over ordering designer shoes um, online for a while. If I can't go into the store and like um, try them on, I don't even want to. I don't even want to do it and look how the ball got dropped you know with this um pair of shoes i thought i was good because i have um the same you know style but i guess just a different fabric just killed it so like i just i don't i don't buy designer shoes um online anymore i have to go in the store and that kind of messes with me because i have to try them on and i'm glad i did because um i already have a pair of louis slides and the ones with like the two buckle, I'm not sure if I showed y'all those or not. Um, sometimes I buy stuff and I just wear it and then I don't even show y'all because I've already wore it like a few times. So I'll just be like, whatever. But anywho, so these um, slides, little cute slides, um, I thought I would have been the same size. Um, but no, as the other slides... No, these are a 40. <laughs> the other ones are like um, a 39. That's a whole size difference. So, like, these designer shoes just really run crazy. But these are super cute. Um, like I said, I already wanted, been wanting them anyway. But um, because I'm, I'm a slides girl. I'm a, like, slides and tennis shoe girl. Like, that's where you can get me. You know, I still have, like, my designer heels. But... Cute tennis shoes or the slides, I'm going for it. <laughs> so, yeah, I got those because I did actually get another pair of slides as well. You know, I may as well just show y'all too while um, we are in this video. Okay, so that's those. They are super cute. Oh, by the way, I did um, march those, um, what are they called? The... The boots that I tried on earlier, a couple days ago, I did return those too because I just, I just couldn't, like, the price was not adding up for the shoe. Like, slides, like, the price of these, let me see, I don't even know if y'all want to know prices, but. Let's see. Like, for the slides, okay, I can, I can see that, um. I can justify that. Okay, now this is for the first order of the, sh the tennis shoes that are the tennis shoes. So the sandals, what they call mules, they're called the locket flat mule, and those were um, eight ninety. So to me, that's not bad because that's something I'm gonna wear until I really can't wear them no more. That's something I'm gonna wear until, <laughs> I mean, they probably just like wear out. So that is something I can justify the price because I know I'm gonna definitely get my money's worth. I did not feel like I was gonna be able to get my money's worth and justify like a $2,000 pair of boots. Like, yeah, they was like fly. They just wasn't comfortable and they just was not, they were just more statement pieces and I just wasn't, not, not for that price. So I was like, not loving them like that. Like when I saw them when they first came out, I was loving them. But once I got them on the stuff, I just wasn't. So, and this bag, I loved. I had a. T I actually had to talk myself into this bag. I know it's an older bag. I went back and forth with it for. I, I've really watched it for a while. I was like, do I want it? Do I not? Like, how can much stuff can I put in it? But once it start like getting to the point where I couldn't really find it too much. Like I'll see it like sold out. Then that's when I was like, yeah, now I really want it. You know, like, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, so anywho, so comes in the 
Louis Vuitton duffel bag, of course. And voila, isn't she lovely? So this is the Louis Vuitton cans bag. Super cute. So this is I, I feel like this is one of those bags. And this is another reason why I got this is because I feel like this is one of those bags that's going to be like timeless that I'm going to always keep like forever. It's going to always be a bag that I'm going to even just keep on my shelf. I'm not wearing it all the time. It's just going to be timeless and something I'm going to always have. Um, so oh, something else is in there too. So, um, yeah, so it comes with a strap so you can wear it on the shoulder or crossbody. Um, and you just hook those on the sides right here. And then, what is this in here? Okay, let's see. It's heavy. It might be some more of these little clamps that they... Oh, it's the lock. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's the lock. So, you can lock the bag... Um, on this side. See the little lock there. Um, so, okay, where's, oh, here's the key. I'm like, okay, give me a lock, but no key. <laughs> so, here's the keys. Oh, they're kind of stuck in there, huh? Cute. And the cute little sets of keys, two keys. So, yeah, so that, you know, so like what I know I like designer stuff. Um, and I'm just going to keep it all the way a buck. Like some stuff, if I don't feel like it's timeless and it's something I'm going to keep forever. I'm just going to go to my little favorite spot, Fashion File, because, <coughs> excuse me, Fashion File I know if I get bored of it, and I get bored of stuff real easily. So that's my problem and why I be buying new stuff. And I try and force myself not to. But um, if it's something that I don't feel like it's worth that full price, like, yeah, I like it, but mm, I don't feel like it's worth that full price. Like, I'm going to go, I'm going to head straight over to Fashion File. I purchased these in black. When I went to, well, I, I actually did purchase these online too, just because, oh, my memory card is four minutes left. Let me make this quick. Um, because when we went to Turkey, and I didn't show you guys that, I purchased them to go to Turkey. Um, and I, didn't, I brought them with me, and I didn't really like um, how they looked on me because they were too exact. Like, I don't like my shoe, because I feel like if your foot slides a little bit, it'll look like it's hanging off. I don't like that. I can't stand my shoes, tennis shoes, anything to be too exact. That was the problem today with the shoe in the store. So, I actually returned those, and I get in those, that particular color has just been out of, out of stock. So, I reordered them, these, specifically for this trip. And um, these are the Hermes Oren slides, and I got them in this um, cute white color with like this tan stitching and they come in these really nice freaking dust bags too so yeah and these fit me perfect they fit perfect and they're a uh, 40 and a half the first ones i had were a 40 even you see what i'm saying like next i'm gonna be in the uh, 45 who knows just keep creeping up <laughs> so anyway yeah so these are the 40 and a half these i bought specifically for the trip um because i knew i had a few outfits that I can wear this way and also with my swimsuits to put it on um, and go to like the pool and the beach area and stuff. So now I know exactly my slides and um, the orange slides. Hopefully they'll be, I don't know, the same if I order a different color. Who knows? <laughs> that price, <laughs> I mean, that size might change also. And then I also got this, oh, geez. Um go with one of my outfits and it's the oh this looks tiny 
Is my wrist gonna go in here? Ooh, it's called the H clack bracelet. Click clack bracelet, I believe. Um, let me try this on because look at this. This is baby wrist. I mean, I don't have like a huge wrist, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, honey, but um, this bracelet does not fit me. <laughs> I'm about to pinch my skin. This is this can fit a baby. Like, this is about to pinch all my little skin off. But oh no, I'm gonna have to go exchange this. Dang, I wish I'd knew this before. I've been having it sitting, but um, anyway, it's cute though. But and I got it specifically for her outfit. Oh, well, it's already a little after 11. I'm gonna get ready. I have so much stuff to do um before we leave in two days and i it's getting i'm getting a little a little bit of anxiety so um now i just added something else to my plate <laughs> i hope this video well this vlog i hope this vlog was not boring um i hope you guys saw some pieces that you like and yeah, I'll definitely do better with her bringing y'all with me inside of stores. I'm just so used to like getting out of my car and going in. Anywho, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope this video um, wasn't boring. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, the next video is definitely not about to be boring, honey. <laughs> this next vlog is going down. We having some fun. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. Thank y'all so much for the love and support. I appreciate y'all so much. And oh, y'all got that rhinoplasty video? No, to, all the way to 10K. Oh my gosh, thank y'all so much. Y'all showed me so much love on that. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I'm gonna have to do something special for y'all for that one. So um, yes, thank y'all so much, dolls and divas. My Ken dolls too. Thank y'all for tuning in and supporting a girl. I love y'all. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate everything y'all be doing. Like keep it coming keep them keep them views running them running them views up keep running them views up for a girl <laughs> and before y'all go we already know the routine hit that cute little like button and subscribe to a doll's channel all right y'all see you later